Good day to all. My name is Jayshi Sakun and my magic number is F18B0045. Welcome to my YWA presentation to all panels and viewers. My title of YWA is Physiochemical Property and Functional Property of Z-based Baby Corn Crackers and Different Particle Size of Z-based Baby Corn Powder. First part is Introduction. The recent background of these studies is there are snack food demand can changes which consumer thought to be healthier in the future by choosing healthiest products as a solution after wheat and rice corn is the third most important cereal crop in the world young corn is the one of the member in the corn family based on this condition bakery snacks like crackers modified by using dried baby corn powder to fulfill the consumer demand next the problem statement of this study the first state problem that stated is there were lack snack food with high dietary fiber content. The next one is there are a very little number of processed food from young corn are available in market. So the third one is due to the limited food for pregnancy daily, these crackers can be a perfect food for them because it can provide many nutrients that can prevent neural tube birth defect. The hypothesis of this study is there are significant difference between the physiochemical and functional property of baby corn crackers and the different particle size of baby corn powder. Objective of this study are to determine the influence of particle size in the baby corn powder on the physiochemical properties of the crackers. The second objective is to evaluate the functional property of baby corn crackers from different particle size of baby corn powder and the functional properties of the baby corn flour compared with wheat flour. And the last objective is to analyze the proximate composition of crackers which developed from selected baby corn powder particles. Next part of this presentation is literature review. The first part I'm going to explain about the baby corn. Baby corn known as ear of gold, mini corn and candle corn and scientifically known as z -maze. The nutritive value of this baby corn is it is high in protein and also dietary fiber and it also known as cholesterol free vegetable. Its utilization in food sector used as a decorative item in many conventional and western foods. And its characteristic is it is green, petable, highly digestible and also tasty and nutritious. The next one is about the dehydration. Dehydration technique to, can reduce the moisture content of a substrate to a degree that microorganisms cannot be developed and also to reuse it. The vegetables are dried to retain its flavor and nutrient. Next one is about the particle size of dehydrated vegetable. Particle sizes of vegetable influence its physiochemical property and also its functional property. For example, corn flour with high number of passes through sheets has a lighter color towards aloe white and it also has a smaller bulk density and it's, it's rise in oil absorption. Dietary fiber functional quality are improved in as particle sizes reduces. This part is about the crackers. Crackers may also be used to use a variety of nutritious and beneficial ingredients as one of these added ingredient is dietary fiber as gain a number of recognition. The functional property of dietary fiber in dough. Gyroscopy has a significant impact on dough characteristic, for example like cohesiveness, springiness, hardness and baking characterization, stability and also about the uniformity. The porous surface of dietary fiber can serve as an active fiber resulting in high wa water absorption thus involved and improved the cooking properties of the flour. Moving to the next part, chapter 3, methodology. Methodology is compromises about the young corn collection, preparations of dried young corn powder, preparations of crackers, functional property analysis of flour and crackers, and finally, physical chemical analysis will take part. The amount of ingredients that have been used in the maize baby corn crackers was stated. Physical chemical property analysis will carry out. The first one is the physical analysis of crackers. It compromises about thickness, weight, diameter and spread ratio of crackers were calculated using standard apparatus and also standard method. Next about the determinations of texture were analyzed using texture analyzer and next about the determinations of color were measured using Kaneka, Neutona, Chroma, Magmeter. The six functional property analysis were carried out using standard procedure. First is water binding capacity, next is oil binding capacity, the third one is bulk density, fourth one is swelling capacity, fifth one is forming capacity and last one is forming stability. The proximate analysis were carried out using standard method. The proximate analysis that carried out is determinations of moisture, determinations of protein using Jadal method, determinations of fat content using standard substrate method 
de determinations of fiber using fiber analyzer device, determinations of edge used crucible and muffler funnels. Moving to the next chapter, chapter 4, data analysis and finding. Weight loss of fresh Z-Mess baby corn. First, they were 5.9 kg of baby corn collected. And drying process takes place and the weight of dried baby corn presented is about 476 grams. Z-Mess baby corn, the yield produced was 8%. This indicates that fresh Z-Mess baby corn contains high moisture. A study of e user ID 2019 reported that normal baby corn contains around 90% of moisture. Next about the physical chemical property of crackers. The first one is the physical ana analysis of the crackers. The highest thickness showed by the control crackers. The thickness of crackers grow as the particle size of the baby corn powder in the crackers formulation increases. The highest diameter showed by the formulation 3 which produced from the 500 micrometer baby corn powder. According to Chauhan, Saxena and Singh 2016, the larger the spread ratio of the cracker and it is more desirable. As baby corn cracker is produced from uh, 1 to 5 baby corn powder size, maybe the most recommended because it has the larger spread ratio. The determinations of the texture. The harder texture produced by the 500 micrometer of particle size of baby corn powder crackers. It is because Additions of larger amount of fiber results in the changes of physical property in the clay product according to Gomez 2014. The next structural, structural property were resulted low value by the crackers, uh, control crackers, and the following up by the crackers made from 125 particle size baby corn powder crackers, which is slightly high, higher value, which can be acceptable by customer also. Next physical chemical property that is tested for crackers is color analysis. Positive redness value predominated in cracker sample. As the particle size of the baby corn powder increased, the color of the crackers transformed to darker brown. This is due to the organ air velocity, ingredient comp composition, rate precipitations caused by the enzymatic browning, baking time and temperature. 1 to 5 powder produces a lighter colored baby corn crackers because the component that causes the baby corn to become lighter in li lighter color and it is because of the starch which was found in the innermost part of the baby corn. Moving to the next part, the functional property of the baby corn flour compared with wheat flour. The functional property that I've tested is water binding capacity, oil binding capacity, bulk density, swelling capacity, forming capacity and forming stability. Baby corn flour will show a good result which is higher than wheat flour in water binding capacity, oil binding capacity, bulk density, swelling capacity, forming stability. The next part is about the functional property of crackers prepared from different particle size of baby corn flour and control sample. This finding shows the good result towards oil binding capacity and water binding capacity by the formulation 1 which prepared from the 125 micron meter particle size of baby corn powder crackers. The next, this graph shows the results of proximate analysis of crackers in ash contain fiber contain and also in protein formulation 3 was showed the highest ratio in ash and fiber contain formulation 3 showed the good result which is the ratio is higher than other formulation and in moisture contain the formulation 1 shows the lower ratio compared to the others formulation but control crackers will show the lowest ratio and also in fat control crackers will show the highest ratio the lowest ratio showed by the formulation one. In conclusion, baby corn powder crackers demonstrated that it have a low in fat and also high in dietary fiber. Furthermore, the crackers prepared from 500 micron meter were good in bulk density, forming capacity and also in forming stability. The crackers prepared from 125 micron meter baby corn powder were proof that it were good in oil binding capacity, water binding capacity, texture, color and physical measurement. The functional property of the 500 micron baby corn powder were good in every functional property except in forming capacity because of its protein protein will lower. At last about the recommendation, this study were recommended to further about the proximate compositions and physiochemical features such as starch protein, fiber, protein and many other for the baby corn powder in order to generate a flour like product in the future. Other than that, in this study, there are further analysis carried out for baby corn crackers, but due to the shortage of time, the sensory evaluation does not carry out. So, sensory evaluation can be carried out. Next, the reference of the study have been seen. Thank you. That's